I be getting to the money. Everybody mad. I think I'm getting too much money. Everybody mad. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Nia Imani, and I am finally back with another show video. You already know. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that cute little subscribe button right there, right there. Hit the bell so you know when your girl is posting. If you're old and you already in the fam, bam, thanks for coming back to my channel and checking out my new video. From the title, we are talking about a serious subject. So this is like the first time I'm really publicly talking about the situation. January 2017, um, January came, when or whatever. A couple months like really passed. I can't give you like a start date, but just over the course of from like when I graduated to 2017, whenever I really started getting in my feelings or whatever, um, I had like a lot of, I booked a lot of things that didn't, that didn't go through. And um, pretty much I'm a strong person. Like if I get a job, I get the job. If I don't, I just don't. But just 2017 was just a very, very slow, dry year for me. And so like I just started getting like down like I started doubting myself I started I stopped taking dance classes um I just I would just sit at home and like have no motivation to do anything honestly I'm just gonna like be 100% honest with you guys um at the time I was not working like a regular job so um I was just depressed like went in like I gained so much weight and now like back then I didn't realize it but now like looking back on pictures and I was just like wow like I, I actually did get thicker than what I was when I first moved out here and even to like what I look like now like I was really like thicker so I want to say like around November like right before my birthday um i had a breakdown like a whole a whole complete breakdown like i was in the uber coming back from something and i was on the phone with my mom like i just remember like screaming and just like crying my eyes out all until like the whole uber ride and i got home and i did the same thing because at the time I was like the only person home. I specifically remember this day. I was the only person home. And um, yeah, like I just remember like just crying and saying like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to dance anymore. I want to come home. I don't want to live in LA. Like it was just a whole bunch. I was just saying a whole bunch. Like, but it, um, yeah, like I just had this whole breakdown. Like I wanted to stop and give up on everything that I've done my whole entire life and I'm the type of person um, I keep my feelings to myself I don't like telling others how I feel because I don't know that's just that's just how I am like I can't really explain why I do that but I've always been the type to just like stuff that truly truly bothers me like I like when it's like personal for me I just like keep it to myself or like my mom may know but like when it comes to like my roommates friends family like no one else no one would know well 20 now we're at like let's say new year's eve going the new year's eve going into 2018 and like it was a whole year of me like boohoo poor me you know like me being down on myself and I was just tired of it like now I'm just like at the point where it's just like girl you need to figure out what you want to do where you want to live because like honestly you just sitting around doing nothing is just wasting money basically so New Year's Eve 2018 that like I had watched church 
one church la but um yeah so i just woke up and i was just like okay you need to have a game plan like this is a new year you can't you can't you know start the new year with the same the same bs that you did 2017 because that's just not going to work for a whole nother year like that would be two years being depressed like no dance made me like made me depressed so i knew that for what was best for me i had to step back from it so i just like i said started focusing on something else and then i eventually started taking class here and there and then fast forward to now let's say it's like june so i believe that um the Clippers spirit page, which is the dance team for the LA Clippers basketball team, posted that they were having two workshops for their upcoming audition season. So I always said, I used to dance for the Knicks as a kid. Um, and I always said like back then that I wanted to be an adult NBA dancer. So I was just like saying to myself, like, this would be the test. Like me going to the workshop would be a test to see like if I can gain my love back for dance. So the first, I want to say the first um, workshop was like late June, early July. And I went and I just wasn't myself. Like I wasn't my best. I knew I wasn't my best. Like I knew I could have done much better, but I didn't wake up in the right heads, the right mind space. And it was just a bunch of, yeah, it was just like, I was just doubting myself. So, um, it, it came and it went and, um, I paid for both, which um, thank God I did because I'm the type of person, like, because the first time went for me, as bad as it did, I was just like, I'm the type of person I'd have been like, okay, I ain't going to the second one. But I already paid for it, and I don't like losing out on my shamanis. So I was like, I'm going to go. The second time, like, literally, me and my mom was just like, listen, if you going to really do this, you need to go full force. Like, don't, this at this point, there's no more half-assing anything. There's no more doubting yourself. Like, you know how good you are. You know how beautiful you are. So remember that when you're out there and granted that wasn't the audition that is the um that was just the um workshops but they were giving out um one ticket at each workshop for a dancer to move on straight to finals and skip like the first two rounds of auditions. So um I went to the second one and I did get the Yes, you can say the golden ticket. And I literally at that moment, that was the confirmation that I needed. Like that made me believe in myself again. That gave me confidence that I was just like, wow, like I'm actually, I'm actually good, you know? And so I started like doing yoga to like, you know, clear my mind and help with my like stretch. And I started like taking classes and like working out and then it was time for the audition and yeah basically long story short I made the team clearly all that to say is just that yeah I was in like a very very dark space but it literally takes that one thing that one thing for for you to do or for you to see or for you to read or for you to hear to get you like together and granted i'm not gonna say that it took it took me overnight i just woke up one day i was just like okay i'm not gonna be depressed anymore like that's not how it works but it really does take that one thing for you to wake up and be like wow i have a purpose and not saying that to say that i was you know going to do something crazy to myself not saying that at all but i'm just saying like when you get to that moment in life where you feel like nothing and you feel like there's like you have no purpose it's a very very lonely and sad feeling so for you to do something that just gives you that boost of confidence that you need it's just like 
wow so i am good at something i can do something good like maybe this is my calling but with my story i hope that i can help somebody like maybe somebody is watching this video that is going through what i went through and me telling my story helped them you know find their purpose in life and find their their oomph to get up and go and to you know start their life over again because to me i felt like my life restarted but like i said me making clippers definitely 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 helped me by that point i wouldn't say i was even depressed anymore i was in the stages of finding who i am again and that literally made me find who i am and made me fall back in love with dance fall back in love with performing made me see that you know what there's more to dance than just dancing it made me see that i really love performing more like it's weird i love performing more than rehearsing it's just that's just how i am um and it just opened my eyes to other opportunities um per se so yeah just check on your loved ones make sure they're okay because that one little text of hey how are you i love you will you know save someone's life change someone's life you just you just never know but thank you guys so much for watching this video i feel like i just sat here and rambled a lot so i'm sorry if you know this wasn't the best story time i guess you can say it's a story time video story time video but yeah thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe you already know um like i said comment down below whatever you want to comment share your story with me i am all ears and i know i say this every video but i will be putting out way more videos than what I have I've just been like I said just busy but now I have some time on my hands to be with you guys so yeah thank you for watching my video I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video